You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rotrans for Black and White Sports. If you're new to the channel, punch subscribe, like, comment, share, check us out on Pod. And if you're watching on Spotify, what's up? Okay, so let's talk about Colin Kaepernick because he has made some comments bitching, pissing, and moaning again about not being in the NFL. And I'm not in the NFL because of political bias. Really? Are you sure you want to go there? Uh, So he claims that after he had the now infamous Las Vegas Raiders workout, that the Raiders did not sign him because of NFL slash political bias, as we know. Colin Kaepernick is a radical socialist Marxist Democrat. Okay, plain and simple, kneeled for the national anthem. And a lot of NFL teams said, yeah, you know what? You're teetering on the edge of really and truly being a backup quarterback, so do we really want to put you on the team? Oh, well, they shunned me over that, right? Well... Let's take a look down memory lane because I always love to remind people during these Colin Kaepernick videos about this little gem. Colin Kaepernick trade to the Broncos being held up by $4.9 million. This was a headline from Schefter, April 2nd, 2016. The following, San Francisco and Denver have the parameters of an agreement in principle for a trade for Colin Kaepernick, sources said. But before the deal is completed, the 49ers, Broncos, and Kaepernick have to agree on who will pay the quarterback's $11.9 million guaranteed salary for the upcoming season. Fact is, the Broncos were willing to pay him $7 million that year. Keep in mind, Jimmy Garoppolo played for $6 million last year. Who would you rather have? Jimmy Garoppolo or this radical leftist kneeling on your team? Just wondering. Garoppolo's obviously a better quarterback, and it's not even close. And he played for a million dollars less than Kaepernick was willing to take mm, six years ago. But no NFL teams wanted you, right? Right? Oh, Ray Lewis. Ravens shun Kaepernick due to racist tweet. From girlfriend. Yeah. Oops. Right there was his girlfriend tweeting out Ray Lewis, Steve Bashotti. She tweeted out Sam Jackson and Candy from Candyland in Django. The Ravens were about to sign Colin Kaepernick. Folks. When his girlfriend tweeted that out. But the NFL doesn't want Colin Kaepernick, right? That's what Kaepernick keeps telling us. Well, that's 0 for 2. That's two teams that wanted you. Well, hell, after George Floyd, they set up the NFL, set up a workout. A bunch of teams showed up. But guess who didn't? Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick's workout moved to new location without NFL affiliation. Colin Kaepernick's scheduled workout on Saturday was relocated to an Atlanta area high school, began two hours later than previously planned without without the blessing of the NFL. Kaepernick couldn't get his shit together between him and the NFL and his representatives, so he shunned the league. He so desperately wants to get back into, in spite of Colin Kaepernick, and this was less than two years ago. Colin Kaepernick compares NFL tactics to slavery in Netflix special. By the way, guys, this is all while drift, uh, grifting his way to a Netflix series that paid him a little less than $10 million, not to mention all the money Nike gave him. Kaepernick got got a net worth of about $20 million right now. Keep that in mind as we get to this ridiculous video that 
the league that he calls and referenced as slavers, he's now slamming for not wanting him back. And it kills me because he decided to slam Jarrett Stenham and Nick Mullins in here. What the hell they've done to Colin Kaepernick, I don't know exactly. And Jarrett Stenham, I'd take him every day of the week and twice on Sunday over Kaepernick. In fact, Sean Payton loved him so much he traded for him because if Russell Wilson even so much as sneezes this season, Jarrett Stenham is the starting quarterback for the Denver Broncos, and I'm shitting you negative. I cover the Broncos all the time on the other sports channel. I'm just putting that out there. I, I'm willing to bet that if Russell Wilson, Wilson sneezes, Colin Kaepernick's not getting that call. Just saying. You know, you know, QB skills, that's a thing. Breitbart, Colin Kaepernick determined to resume NFL career and overcome political bias. Wow. Former NFL second-string quarterback Colin Kaepernick claims that an unnamed NFL insider has told him he's still, quote, an elite player. Was it Mike Florio? <laughs> and, and look, guys, I dog out Florio. I mean, you know, he's got some serious blind spots. I hammered him in a video the other day. One of his blind spots is the idea Ka Kaepernick can still sniff an NFL field. It can't happen. He doesn't have the skill set. This is something that Chris Sims has shit on. Back to Florio, I don't know how many times on Pro Football Talk. Many other quarterbacks have come out and said, you're not setting out of the league this long and coming back and doing anything. This, quote, news was published by Sports Illustrated writer Gilberto Manzet, Man, Manzid, who sat with the former NFL player and professional social justice warrior and delivered a purely flattering June 29th article. The 35-year-old claims he still works out five or six days a week and claims that his quarterbacking skills are still as sharp as ever. They weren't that sharp to begin with. You couldn't hit a running back in the flat. You had no touch on your passes. I'm a 49ers fan, I know. Trust me. But he noted... He has not been offered a workout from an NFL team since the Raiders gave him a look in 2022 but passed on signing him. Kaepernick says he is still ready for a workout from any team that will offer, saying, quote, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep fighting for it because I know I can step on the field and play. But then he claimed that someone told him he is, quote, still elite. God, you weren't elite in your prime if you had one. Every workout, every opportunity I've had to show that the feedback has always been positive, Kaepernick claimed. Everything from he's still an elite player till the workout was great, it was better than expected. What are they going to do? Come out and publicly slam you so you can come on here and make a few more grifting bucks off of a team's name? Oh, that's what you're doing here. My bad. Writer Manzin did not bother to press the former player on who told him he is still an elite player. Kaepernick went on to claim he heard that the Raiders didn't sign him because of his extremist left-wing anti-American politics. <laughs> I don't doubt that. Quote, I've heard a lot of excuses over the years, Kaepernick told Manzin. When explaining why he was snubbed by the Raiders, but most of the time it ends up, oh... We're going to see how the guys that we have do. With the Raiders situation last year, that was Stenham and Nick Mullins, which to me, you just compare resumes and capabilities on top of the workout and the feedback, and it's like, okay, cool. You're right. Okay, cool, because they've been in the league and you haven't. I mean, that's, that's pretty easy. Obviously, there's something else within this decision. To me, that's typically what it ends up being or what it has been the last seven years, so I just want the opportunity to come in and show what I can do on the field. Judge me based upon that, not the political bias that you have, Kaepernick insisted. Meanwhile, Kaepernick continues to badmouth the NFL, calling it something akin to slavery, blasting the U.S. as irredeemably racist, 
with his latest book that claims blacks can't succeed in America because of a capitalist society. Thanks, Marxists. I, I mean, come on. I mean, if this point, at this point, if you cannot see this guy is playing the victim for a buck and for a grift, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, we just laid out the list. Ravens, Broncos. Well, that was two teams right there that you had ready to take you. You didn't want to adjust your salary or you would have been the starting quarterback in 2017 for the Denver Broncos. So that narrative that because you knelt for the national anthem, you weren't going to get the play was bullshit. I've continued to say, if you played quarterback like Peyton Manning, if you played quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, if you played quarterback like Tom Brady, you would have never missed a solitary millisecond. You, they would have had knee, they would have had couch cushions out there for you to kneel on. Because in the NFL, Bubba, if you can play, they don't give a rip. I mean, we've seen that with all the criminals they put on the field. I promise you, your politics aside, some owner would have had you on the roster playing quarterback if you played like Tom Brady or one of them other quarterbacks I just named. Or insert any quarterback in the top 8 to 10. You'd have been on a team and starting. You weren't that good, so you're not in the league. But it's not like you didn't have your chances. I mean, no shit the Ravens didn't want you after your girlfriend did that. Talk to her, not the NFL, not the Ravens. And if you wanted back in the league, seems to me like I probably would have showed up for the NFL sanctioned workout. It was ridiculous that they were sh sanctioning a workout for you to begin with. Wow, this guy. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Kaepernick still trying to make a buck. I mean, the NFL's a lot of things, but racist is just something they have bent over backwards to the point that they have lost fans. And Kaepernick knows this. With every singing of the black national anthem, they lose fans. Because there's what? One national anthem. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.